uh, we've got uh, Coach Rossi Rasmus and Eben, who is standing in as captain because obviously Salman is, is busy with medicals. Uh, as I said, we'll take four questions online and then uh, we will take questions from the floor. Uh, let's start with Jan. Thank you, Zina. Thank you, Rashi. Thank you, Eben. Uh, Rashi, if we can start uh, with, uh, as Zina said, these medicals. Uh, exactly what is the issue with Salman? Could he left quite early? Uh, just concussion. Yeah, he just had concussion and he'll obviously now go through the protocols. Uh, uh, but it was obviously, yeah, just concussion. Uh, as a follow-up, yeah. does this allow me to automatically mean he's going to lay off period or is, is it just protocols? No, no, the protocol. So uh, we've got a buy and uh, depending on severity and, and when he, uh, you know, passed the first step and the second step and the third step and the history of his concussions, all of those and what the mouth guard that he had, had what do you wear it or you put it in your mouth, he, uh, he had that in. So when it pinged and all of those kind of things. So uh, like any other concussion, you know, we, we do have a week off. So uh, I don't foresee him to miss the, the next game. Guys, please keep it to one question each. Uh, Liam? Liam? Okay, let's keep Liam. Uh, Hendrik? Uh, geluk, Rassi. Geluk, Eben. Uh, Rassi, taking the weather conditions into consideration and, would I say, clever, uncontested scrums, would you say this win is even better than last week's win in Brisbane? No, uh, I think any win, uh, you know, we've always struggled against Australia in one of the two matches. So we're just happy that we got away with two wins. Uh, getting a bonus point in each game is obviously a bonus. Uh, that's what they call it, a bonus point. Um, uh, yeah, and I think overall, you know, all 33 players that was on tour played, uh, we that, we set that out as a, as a goal. And, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it, it's great that all those things in the game was disrupted with rain and, uh, uh injuries to their front row and 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 you know we had to adapt and uh i'm very pleased with the way and even we lost our captain in the first couple of minutes of concussion and the way that Eben and everybody else uh i think that's where a guy like peter steff and uh lots of other guys who we really think take ownership uh, helped each other and uh, luckily we got the results so yes overall very uh, i would say satisfying it wasn't beautiful in this weather it's tough to play beautiful rugby but it was a satisfying victory liam do you want to try again okay no percy thank you so much Zina. Zina, i'm online can i ask my afrikaans question now um no they're going to wrap up at the end in afrikaans percy so only english I'll wait until you know. Uh, okay, cool. Then let's take um, Nathan. Uh, thank you very much, Zina. Uh, Rassi, a big talking point coming to this weekend was the 10 changes in the starting lineup, and people were wondering if it was disrespectful to the Wallabies. With that being said, you led at halftime by two points with those players. How do you assess the performance of those players who uh, got, got, got an opportunity today? Well, like we do with every other test match, you know, we have the different departments and the coaches will go into the scrums for until it was uncontested and go and see how did Jan Hendrik do, how did Grobis do, how did Thomas do. Then the defence score coach will go into the defence, the attack coach will go into attack, uh, you know, and the line-out coach and, 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 and so on. So we'll do a proper review uh, and, and give feedback to the guys. Uh, but overall, um, I think the most pleasing thing was uh, that uh, the weather and uh, a few things that happened in the game uh, didn't disjoint the team. So um, I, I I still think for that team, or uh, for the starting lineup, there were certainly two or three tries that were very close to being scored, and it could have been a bigger margin. So now we're very, I'm happy for the players uh, uh, who started the game and who haven't got a lot of chances. Uh, I really thought a lot of them took their chances and showed us what they they could do. Cool. Uh, let's take questions from the floor, guys. I see your um, defence looked very humble. What, what did you see um, from Australia's first three games of your studies that allowed you to shut them down so confidence? Uh, it was pretty tough to uh, analyse them because uh, any new coach that comes in, you know, you don't just have in three games and you can put your footprint on it and say, uh, this is how I want the team to end up where you want to take them. So, uh, no, just a little bit of knowledge about Joe Smith and, and how he coach. 
uh, and the principles and uh, you know he, he can turn things around and I'm pretty sure he will uh, but uh, very driven in specific tasks and you know knowing what they want to do at the breakdown uh, how they want to disrupt your line outs uh, what they want to do in your breakdown so I don't want to go into detail and bore you with that but um, yeah very disciplined and uh, uh, very accurate um, and it will take a little bit of time, you know, it, it takes time to turn the team around. Do you think that uh, this Australian team can put up a decent fight against the Lions? Obviously, you experience in the last Lions series yourself. <laughs> you know, a, a week in rugby, I know I've said it last week, but a week in rugby is long. Uh, I've, I've mentioned it when the boys lost 57-0, and then the pre next weekend they lost by one point against uh, at Newlands. We saw New Zealand losing to Argentina, uh, and now gave them a, a, a proper hiding. Uh, so, you know, you, you can't take out the fact that there's key players injured. You can't take away the fact that it's a new coaching staff, uh, and the Lions are only in next year. You know, so we, we took a team in 2018, 18 months out from the World Cup and, you know, there was people burning jerseys and not want to go and watch matches. Uh, but, uh, you know, you get the right people on board, which I think Joe is, and you get the right players on board. And a lot of them, I mean, obviously, uh, the, one of the, the props father died, he was a key for, uh, you know, a part of the team. Uh, and then a few others got injured. So, yes, I, I do think they'll, they'll be competitive with Joe Smith. Uh, as the head coach. So, you happy for the players to pull through? Yeah, but there's no doubt it was a pretty nerve wracking first half there for a while. Was there ever any doubt for you or the change that you made in this team that that was the right call, or did you always step on it? No, no, it was nervous. It was nervous for me till minute 70, you know, uh, uh, where, where we were on our own goal line and we conceded two penalties in a row. And, you know, uh, it could have easily been we made another mistake, but then the players and even the guys buckled down and said not another penalty. So no, not just the first half was nerve wracking. The whole game was for me nerve wracking. And uh, again, uh, I think as you say, it was close at half time. I also thought uh, if those tries were scored where sausages had to catch the ball, uh, then it could have been a further lead. And then we always had uh, security on the bench, you uh, know, and, and that's why we sometimes pick teams like that. Yeah, it's obviously a, a good start for us uh, to pick up five points uh, two consecutive weeks in a row. And um, now we go home to, to face the All Blacks. And it's going to be a, a great challenge uh, back at home. Uh, but yeah, there was a mass, massive squad effort. I think uh, everyone got a chance. Uh, but yeah, we always say you don't, don't get a chance. You actually deserve it. And the guys who, who started the match, uh, they laid the foundation tonight in the first half. And guys who came off the bench finished it um, I mean all those guys who were in the team they deserved it fully and um, yeah it's um, it's great to see them perform at this level uh, I played against Portugal it was a great great performance and now to play against a, a quality side in Australia and see them perform as well uh, just shows you the squad that that, that Coach Rossi is, is building and and we want that so, yeah, just mentioned your blacks. I'm sure we'll do it tonight and celebrate that. But the challenge that's coming up in a couple of weeks' time is that going to be another step up? Or what are you anticipating? Do you think that's just Yeah, uh, uh, just I'm going to say it's another step up just because Joe Smith is new in the role here and he has to find his feet and get to know all the players and the way Australian rugby work. It, it takes some time. Uh, and with that answer, I, I say yes, it will be a much tougher challenge. Uh, with no disrespect against Australia, just because Australia is where they currently are in the rebuilding phase. And uh, yes, the All Blacks, uh, uh, the moment people start writing them off, uh, I saw last week when they lost, a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say, but then they, they you know, they knuckled down and, and said, let's show you guys today. And then they, they put proper points against Argentina. And, you know, we play them at at the altitude and then in Cape Town where they're probably a bit uh, comfortable. Uh, a lot of them enjoy it there. So a massive, almost a mini series for us uh, against the All Blacks. So yes, uh, we're in for, for a tough three weeks. Evan, it's a big three days for you, I guess, tomorrow with the UFC breakfast is obviously fighting, but getting the chance to walk out with him for what he said, do you look forward to that? Yeah, uh, obviously glad we laid that foundation tonight for him. Um, he obviously watched the fight and heard he, 
he had a bet with one of the Australian fighters as well, so uh, I think he got his money. Uh, but no, it's, we, we're excited. I think um, there's probably 80% of the squad going to the to the fight, and um, yeah, hopefully me and Sia can, can walk him out, and it's going to be an unbelievable experience. Uh, and I mean, he's a he's a warrior, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to to see him fight, and, and all the best to him. I see. Tell me a bit about the the crowd. I mean, Brisbane was one thing, hammering rain tonight. There was queues around, but no bride at the stadium. But what 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 did that mean to, to you to just see that huge South African crowd in there tonight in Perth? Yeah, uh, even maybe from a player's point of view, but from a coach's point of view, uh, I just have the feeling, and I know it quickly turns around. I just have the feeling uh, that uh, South African supporters are, are really starting to understand our team and our characters and individuals and what we're trying to do. Uh, and wherever we go, it was awesome in Brisbane, in Perth, at the hotel, at the training sessions today, at the, at the match itself. Uh, we can just say thank you, you know, and the only way we can say thank you by just saying the word thank you is, is the way we, the effort that we put out. And the effort is not always going to bring you results, but effort shows how much we care. And yeah, we, we, we cherish it and we, we're just saying thank you and we'll always try and to, um, return the favor by trying our best. Going forward to the New Zealand Games. Uh, yeah, yes, and uh, so it's a very good play. We have two five points. We have two five points. We have two five points. Uh, verlichtend om het so te noem. Uh, ons weet natuurlijk wat vir ons wag is ons uh, oor twee weke speel in New Zealand wat ten my vinnig omgedraai het uh, tegen Argentinië. Um, en dan weer eens, ons het een paar tien veranderinge in die span gemaakt en uh, ek is trots uh, en blij vir die spelers dat hulle geleentere gebruik het en uh, weet halftijd was het nog steeds uh, baie close game gewees maar ek denk die spelers weet en allemaal by die game gekyk is alweer daar is een paar drie wat rondgeloop het, wat ons uh, daar kon gefinish het, en ons het baie geleer van baie spelers, uh, en die kondities het definitief nie gehelp vir een speler uh, um, om samen de klomp aan een jong ouwens te begin nie, maar op die ouwens het ons sekuriteit op die bank gehad, en hulle het die sekuriteit vir ons gewaas toe ons in die tweede helft beter gedoen het, en dan die laatste en is net miskien om vir die ondersteuners hier so in, Bris of in Brisbane en hier so in Perth, nie net by die hotel nie, maar ook by die oefenvelde en die boodskappe en uh, ja, ons was het baie gevoel om ons by die huis is en ons waardeer het baie en ons het het probeer teggeen in ons performance en ek sal moet sê, is heel uh, vanavond was een, een lekker gevoel om, om te wen tegen weersomstandighede en met soek baie verandering in die span. Ja, precies. Ja, is dat echt. Oké, dank u guys.